fight, yes, that's natural where I'm from. Uh, I grew up with that. But to box is something totally different. Growing up, my first love was actually football. I've always been uh, fascinated with uh, full body contact, things of that nature. Um, it wasn't until I was about 12 that my cousin, who was a pro boxer as well, that he started to teach me how to box. But in the neighborhood that I was, uh, that I'm from, which is Duval Heights in Gainesville, uh, we used to have fight nights and things of that nature to where we would put on gloves and do it out with other kids. Anything that any of us do, anything that we put our uh, minds to, we have to be consistent at it, as well as um, to be willing to you know, make some sacrifices. I've never heard of a, uh, a story of success that didn't come with uh, a bit of sacrifice. I've had to sacrifice uh, time with, with my family, my kids, my mother, um, so that I can make my imprint in the industry that I'm in. Uh, I, had to, I had to put my priorities in line and what mattered most to me so that I can work on my legacy. Once a fight is, is inked, meaning that the contract is signed, there, I, I go back into solitude, so to say. I, I get closer to God, not that I should be further away from him at any other point. It's just that um, more so now that I'm, I have this extra time that I, I make it more about, more about us because without him, I wouldn't be, be able to do nothing that I do, including to box. And right before I enter that ring, then I just uh, I, I thank him for whatever the outcome is going to be in that I'm still going to give him glory in all that I do. To be a fighter means more than just getting in the ring, contending means more than just training. It also uh, reflects my way of living. Um, I've been in, the, been in the game for a while and I've had a lot of long odds and most people would have given up by now or uh, deadered their course. Every road that I've encountered or traveled has helped to shape and mold me into the individual that I am today. Yes, I've had a few run-ins with the law. My cousin stole a car before and we went joy riding. Not too much joy at the end there. But um Yeah, that's pretty much sad on that. That dude left me for dead, man. <laughs> he got in a car wreck and he left me for dead, but I didn't die. So he didn't even check on me, you know. He tried to get me out before he ran from the cops, so. And this is actually the first time that, I, that I'm thinking about it again, so excuse me for my delay there, so. Yeah. But other than that, anybody else that I hung out with was, um, was they, they had to be upstanding when my mom didn't allow for me to. But we can't pick and choose our relatives, you know, so. What impacted my life the most, uh, not to make poor decisions, was my son, my, my oldest son. His name is uh, Willie Heron III. Um, just to know that I had to do better for him and to give him a better life that, than what I had as an individual, be a better father than my father was to me. The emotions that I experienced while I'm in the ring, uh, I guess the greatest one be, being that I'm doing combat is rage, you know. Uh, even anger at times, I may, uh, may be in a, compromise, a compromising position, you know, and I get mad at myself for putting myself in that position. But another emotion that, that comes over me a lot because I have to remind myself, relax, so the, so the, the feeling, the emotion, of peace because the more I relax, the quicker I'll, I'll be able to react, uh, to counter, to slip a punch, um, or what have you. I always knew that I was a person of influence and by my upbringing, I knew that I wanted to make a positive impact on people. I am a people pleaser in a sense. I love to see individuals like laugh, to smile, and to, uh, for self-betterment. For them and I get joy from that. So that's what impacted or started the movement with me being a personal trainer, uh, fitness coach, um, 
and to start my gym, which is the movement. And so just the concept of praise and fitness, of helping bettering bodies, lives, and bringing the spirituality into it as well, you know, just, just went along very well with who I am and what I feel like my calling is. 10 years from now, I see the movement being a mega gym, not only just in Orlando, but uh, different cities as well of like-minded individuals with core values, uh, not only with health and fitness, but wellness as well, and that genuinely seek the best interests for others.